If you're having trouble selling your house, it turns out you are not alone. DataQuick has just released some new numbers, so let's bring up the big screen and take a look. 5,000 homes sold here in the Bay Area last month. That is down a little bit from the month before, but here's the real story. Take a look at the numbers from November of 2006, one year ago. 8,000 homes sold in a month as opposed to 5,000. That's well below average, and it's also a 36% drop. By the way, the worst November DataQuick has ever recorded. The good news is if you can't sell your home, it's still probably not losing value. Not the case in Southern California, where they've experienced a 10% drop in the median home value, the worst drop ever on record. Here in the Bay Area, home values have actually inched up a little bit to a median value of $627,000. But that's actually part of the problem. You see, the federal government will only back loans up to $417,000. Not a problem if you're trying to buy a home in Southern California, but here in the Bay Area, folks usually have to rely on what are called jumbo loans. Now, jumbo loans used to be pretty easy to come by before the subprime mortgage meltdown. But now, lending companies have really tightened their standards because investors are afraid to invest in loans that might go belly up. As a result, jumbo loans have gotten much harder to get. And if you can't get a jumbo loan in the Bay Area, there's a good chance you just won't be able to buy that home. Now, this has had a snowball effect because if you can't afford your home, there's much less of a chance that you'll be able to get somebody to buy it and bail you out. Cronforce Christine Connolly talked to one woman who was on the verge of foreclosure. 